This TTS demo is for testing and evaluation purposes only. Any unauthorized commercial use is prohibited. Former White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer got the audience he probably never imagined he'd have Sunday night, as he wheeled a podium, Melissa McCarthy style, onto the stage of the 69th Primetime Emmy Awards to declare, this will be the biggest audience to witness an Emmys, period. Did he sound any more convincing than he had in January, as he'd talked about the audience for the inauguration? Maybe not. Spicer's appearance, 15 minutes into the show, capped an opening by host Stephen Colbert of CBS's Late Show, that made good on his promise to acknowledge President Trump as the biggest TV star of the last year. Though maybe not in the way the Celebrity Apprentice host might like, his chagrin over never having won an Emmy was dredged up again, including the clip from the presidential debate where Hillary Clinton brought it up, and Trump's tweeted claim about Seth Meyers having hosted the Emmys with marbles in his mouth. Cut to Meyers in the audience, spitting marbles out of his mouth, how long had they been in there? Until Spicer came. Colbert's Handmaid's Tale-themed chorus line was probably the best side gag of a musical number whose lyrics included references to treason and a president beloved of Nazis. So, yeah, Colbert, who thanked Spicer but only after referring to HBO's The Wizard of Lies as the Sean Spicer story, went there. Over and over. So too, did Emmy voters and winners in the first hour. John Lithgow received the first award of the evening, Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series, for his role as Winston Churchill in Netflix's The Crown. Lithgow, after thanking the usual people, thanked Churchill. His life, even as an old man, reminds us what courage and leadership in government really looks like. Kate McKinnon thanked, among other people, Hillary Clinton as she picked up an Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series, awarded for a season in which Clinton was just one of many characters McKinnon portrayed. Saturday Night Live then went on to win Outstanding Variety Sketch Series for a politically charged season that drew its highest ratings in many years I suppose I should say, at long last, Mr. President, this is your Emmy said Alec Baldwin as he accepted the Emmy for Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series for his appearances as Trump on SNL. Other early winners included, Laura Dern, Supporting Actress in a Limited Series or Movie for HBO's Big Little Lies. Donald Glover, Directing for a Comedy Series, for FX's Atlanta. And Bruce Miller, Writing for a Drama Series. For he lose the handmaid's tale.